I had the great privilege of interviewing Sydney LaRue of the United States Women's National Team while I was in New York. This interview occurred at Montclair State University. Here it is. We're here with Sydney LaRue. Sydney, how are you doing today? Good practice? Yeah, yeah, it was really good practice. Um, we had a day off, so it was good. Let me ask you, I want this to be sort of a green leaf interview. Okay, so let's have a little fun with this. Best venue to play at? Um, I think playing in Seattle was awesome. I played there last year. Um, I, I like to play in Seattle. It's close to my family. So yeah, I would say Seattle is my favorite. If you weren't playing soccer, what would you play? I would play baseball, not softball. I would play to be the first woman in the MLB. Okay, so you, center fielder. Oh, you play center field. Mm -hmm. Okay, very Lead cool. Uh, have you hit a 90 mile per hour fastball? Um, probably not up there, but pretty pretty fast. We could train you though. You pretty get fast. I played until I was like 15, so with the boys. How do you get ready for a game? Is there anything you listen to? Is there anything you? I watch? listen to music. What kind? Specifically. Um, I like I like Kid Cudi. Uh, it depends. It like depends what my mood is. I like calm before the I like calm before the storm. Like kind of chill rap music, yeah. chill hip hop. Okay. Some Mumford and Son sometimes. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So you like all kinds. Of yeah, all kinds except the screaming. Okay. Best moment you've had. In your career. What do you think? Um, I don't put you on the spot. That is probably, I mean, I think that I'm known for people will face after I snort, you know, that was you like. To the ah, that's what everyone asks me. It's like, it only happens in the moment. Um, but yeah, I think that that was kind of like my. Yeah, but oh, I want stop. Canada. In, okay, fine, Canada. 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 Stop it. <laughs> stop it. It's been there. 90, 93 minutes. 93 minutes. You score was a little bit. Oh, I'm starting to cry. <laughs> That's what I did. I did that at Olympics. I cried. So I'm like, everyone's like, please act like you've scored before. <laughs> I'm like, it was so exciting, you know. Isn't that like, the best feeling in the best world? Best feeling. Best feeling in the world is throwing balls for me. Best Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Okay. Ronaldo's so cute, though, so. But Messi. So you give Ronaldo uh, the upper, uh, I guess the upper hand in the looks department, but game overall you take Messi. Yes. Okay, interesting. What would be your number one goal celebration? You saw those crazy ones in uh, Iceland, I believe it was, where they, they had a little toilet actually right. going on. What would be your goal celebration? I don't know. Um, sometimes we like talk about what we're going to do, but usually we just like to let it flow. I like to let it flow. Whatever comes out, comes out. Sometimes, you know, we're not the best. Okay, let's go. Sometimes they get in trouble, but it's okay. Oh, well, getting in trouble is totally okay. Right, you know, get a yellow card, it's okay. The only thing that matters is if mom and dad get mad. Right. So, do they? No. That's all that matters. No. Uh, okay, so lastly, you touched on Canada. Was it, was it a tough decision to pick the U.S. over Canada? Um, the only tough decision was leaving my family. Um, aside from where I wanted to play, I, I, I always knew I wanted to play for the best team in the world. And that's what I think I'm doing right now. I could not be more happy with that. Okay, totally corny question. One more. This not is like a 2020 question. Okay. Uh, what is your like one quote to live by? Um, one quote to live by. Uh, the one on my arm. <laughs> okay, what does it say? <laughs> says, what you do speak so loud that I cannot hear what you say. Yes. Thank you.